I've been using this DJ pool for over five years, but anytime I speak to a DJ, they've not really heard about it and they're definitely not using it. And that's because if you're from the US or you're from Europe, you haven't had access to this yet, but it has just been rolled out worldwide and I think you're gonna love it. Not only that, stick around till the end of this video where I'll show you how you can get access to this DJ pool for $1 if you're in the US or $4.99 if you're in the UK. Let's get stuck into it. So my go-to DJ pool is this, the mashup.co.uk. And the reason I love this is it's built by DJs for DJs. And I love playing open format. I love everything from tech house, techno, garage, drum and bass, hip hop, R&B, drill. And if you are from that world, I think you're gonna love what's inside. Not only that, you can create a free guest account and just browse around the whole site to see if it's for you, which a lot of DJ pools don't do. So let's get stuck inside and I'll show you around. So once you create your free guest account, you can come and browse here. And what I like about it is, it is built by DJs with crazy edits, which is great to make your set unique. So you'll be hit with this page, which is the just the advanced search area, but we'll have a look at some of the categories involved in the mashup. So you can see here in the categories, you've got acapella intros, flip edits, Quantize, you've got quantize acapellas as well. Um, you've got acapella outros, hype intros, mashups of course, short edits, great for those quick transitions. You've got word plays, acapellas, instrumentals. So there's a lot of creativity that can be had in here for sure. Up here you've got music, which they've got titled as commercial music, which is your standard club music across the board. You've got urban, which is your rap, hip hop, drill. You've got club, which is more of your tech house and your house, your new disco. Um, you've got by producers, which we'll get stuck into. And then what I love about this particular DJ pool is the trending sections, and we'll get onto that. There's playlists, and there is a unique setting within the accounts, which I've not seen on a DJ pool yet, and we'll get to that. So if I click on music, you've got commercial, urban, and club. If I go to club, you get these categories. We've already talked about the various categories, like the acapella outros, intros, flip edits, hype intros. If I click on one of these, you'll see that today as I'm filming, we are in early June, 2024, and you can see how up-to-date it is. This was updated a few days ago, and all of these tracks all have different types of intros. So for example, if we click on this Sean Paul one here. So with a free account, you have access to playback and listen. You can't skip around, but you can listen to the tracks. But all of these tracks have different hype intros to them. And that is a theme throughout the whole of the mashup. So if we go back, you can click on acapella intros and you can see that we've got a bunch of acapella intros on here as well all brand new, and they all come with a bit of information around them. So you can see it's the highest quality MP3. It's tagged with club, it's tagged with uh, bounce, edit, and house. And that is really useful when we're using our advanced search feature, which we'll show you. So you can really get stuck in with a free account and see if this is for you. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump onto my account and show you a bit more of the in-depth features and what you get when you do sign up. So now we are into my account. I've just got another category, flip edits. You can see we've got Avicii levels here. And you can see this is a flip edit. So it goes from the original to a remix. So it goes into the original Avicii. And you can see it flips then to a more EDM, a more main stage version of it. And that happens with a load of tracks. You can see here we've got a drum and bass track by Rudimental. And then it will eventually flip into a totally different version. Great for those open format DJs if you're transitioning from one genre to another, this can really help you out. And what I really like about the mashup is if you hover over here, you can see all the categories at a glance. So if we look into this urban category here, and we can go down and we can go to short edits. So these are chop down edits, which will probably give you um, an intro, a verse, a chorus, and then the outro. So if we take a look at this Pop Smoke track, you can see here the length down in the player is two minutes 15. So you basically got a verse, chorus, maybe one more verse and then an outro, but usually it'll be an intro, a verse, a chorus, and then you straight into the outro. Perfect for them quick sets or for those quick mixes online. One unique feature of the mashup.co.uk is their acapella beat grids. So of course you can download studio acapellas, but they're hard to come by. We've got stems now, which really help. But 
for DJs especially, these have an eight bar beat intro to all of these acapellas. So if you see, I click on uh, Sean Paul here, you see it gives you a beat to be able to mix in with and drop the acapella perfectly on time. So it'll give you an eight bar um, drum loop, just a snare beat on the, on the one before coming in and then eventually dropping on time after eight bars straight into the acapella, which is a really useful tool when mixing on the fly if you're not preparing during your DJ set. All these are super clean, super studio acapella as well. You can also stay super up to date with what's popular on the DJ pool as well. We can go to this chart section, we can go to weekly top 20 and you can choose a category or the monthly chart. You can even go back throughout the years, right back to 2017 if you're doing a throwback set, and you can download the all time 100 tracks from the site, which is super handy to know what's popular. So if we go to monthly and we just go to club, the overall chart and what's uh, being downloaded right now, you can see we have a mixture of mashups and edits, but also original tracks that are just popping in the charts at the minute as well. So you've got uh, Cascada here, Ain't No Mountain High, the Jax Jones remix, which is just a standard tune, or you've got Body Groove, versus Pajanu here. So you can see it's a mixture of what is popping on this chart by the mashup. If you need your weekend essentials, the mashup has you covered as well. When you click on this remix tab here, you can see some different categories, 2000s hip hop R&B, you got 70s and 80s, perfect for your uh, wedding sets. You got 90s weekend essentials, you got 90s hip hop essentials, and then you got the DJs that contribute to here, you've got Rick Live who does UK Garage, you've got Gemmel who does a lot of house, uh, a lot of tech house, same with um, Joe Reese, you've got Rewire, who I'm sure everybody knows, who provides great edits of the freshest tech house uh, remixes, Mr. Bibbs who does more up-to-date UK R&B, US hip hop, loads of edits with inside that uh, genre, you've got your pop and party tunes, tech house essentials, if we click on tech house weekend essentials, you'll see in this section, it is, it is a mixture of what will be popping on something like a Beatport chart as well as individual producers from SoundCloud where you can submit your track to the mashup as well, which is amazing. So you can see here we've got some Tech House tunes. Also to mention the player down here is great and it will also play back through as you're skipping through different tabs. If you're having a look around, it will stay there. You can add this here to your downloads. If I click plus, you can check your basket at the top here. We'll add that to your basket. You could download it there and then. If I click download, go straight into my downloads here and you can favorite it and come back to it later. And it's in your wish list here. If you don't know you really want to download it and you just like it and you're just having a browse, you can add that to your wish list, which is a great feature. Something to mention as well, you've got the BPM, you've got your rating and you've got the date it was uploaded. And again, you've got these three buttons here. One thing I do really like about the mashup is at the top here, you do have filters and you've got a sort section, which not all DJ pools have. You can filter this section, which is the weekend's essentials by different um, eras, by different years, by different genres, garage, future house, funky house, hip hop. You can also, which I like to do, if you wanna know, right, what's popular, I've got a gig this weekend, you can sort by the most downloaded uh, in the last 30 days, last six months, this year, and that will really give you a sense of what people are playing out and, and loving. So if I go most downloaded, last 30 days, you can see here this um, Bicep Glue remix is really popping off. You can see why, you can skip through it. You can see here you've got a rewire edit of Paris. Yeah. So you can really get a taste and a real feel of what is doing well with other DJs and what they're playing out. Moving on to the trending section, here's where the mashup starts to separate itself from other DJ pools in my opinion. Here is where you can really, really stay ahead, not only of what is popular, let's say on the radio or what's you know doing well in the charts, but generally what is going on in different areas. Uh, especially like on Apple Music, you've got the trending in the UK, trending in USA. You've got global trending on Instagram. So these are them viral clips that pop up on Instagram and they blow up and you hear them all the time. You don't know where they're coming from, but if you scroll Instagram long enough, you just they get into your head. Here you can track right, what are these, what's popping? And not only that, you'll find the global top trending, 
but you might find some like sick remixes of that tune as well with inside these folders. You've got the Shazam charts, which is an amazing thing to have. You've got Shazam UK, Shazam Dance, Shazam Trending, Shazam Urban. Um, you've got Spotify, what Spotify is trending in the USA, UK. TikTok as well, again, these viral clips that pop off out of nowhere. And the thing about these viral things are they, they're hot for like a week or two weeks. And if you miss the boat, you've missed the boat. So it's great to be able to stay on trend with them. Same with the YouTube as well, UK trending. So let's have a look at you know what's trending on TikTok in the UK at the moment. As we're recording this, Million Dollar Baby by uh, Tommy Richmond is the number one tune everywhere. So that makes sense, it's at the top. You've got a Billie Eilish track and all of these tracks, I know for a fact right now as we're recording, these are all really popping off and I see them on TikTok as I'm scrolling. These are all the tunes I hear all the time. So it's a great place to have them uh, on here. And you can see here, these are just the radio edits of the tracks, right? Some some are not edited whatsoever. They are just the individual tracks that you can go and download uh, right now. If we go back, you can see that the TikTok UK will be very different to Shazam Dance UK, for example, where you've got the new David Guetta track, you've got the new Becca Hill track, you've got the new Rudimental track, Sonny Federa. So these are all tracks that are absolutely popping now on Shazam. People are in clubs, people are in restaurants, people are at brunches, Shazam in these tunes, and you can really, really stay ahead of other DJs in your DJ set. Even though we are reviewing the mashup, my favorite place in the world to get music is still SoundCloud. It still is. I still love just being on SoundCloud, downloading SoundCloud, and I know that if you're watching this, you probably do too. The mashup brings SoundCloud into here. So it has all of the charts within the SoundCloud it brings here for you to be able to just download straight away. Because if you're on SoundCloud, the annoying thing is you, you find an edit, you have to go through hiked it, and it takes ages, right? It's just, it's great, but it's also a bit time consuming. The mashup will bring that to you just to be able to download at the click of a button. So you've got Afro House, Bass, Bass House, Country, Dancehall, Deep House, Disco, Funk, Future House, Hard House, Hip Hop. I mean, these are all of your um, genres covered. I'll be so surprised if your genre isn't in here. So if we go to, let's go to find something a little bit different. Let's go to our disco folder, right? We love a bit of disco. What I love about this is, yeah, this is like the top um, trending disco tracks on SoundCloud, all the edits right now. What I love about it is you can go back week by week. This is how up to date they keep it. So you can go back to the 30th of May, going back a week, I'm going back a week, and it's all here at the touch of a button. And you can see how quickly things change. You've got Murder on the Dance Floor, BBL Drizzy, and then two weeks later, they're nowhere to be seen in this chart. So it does move um, fairly quickly, which is why it's really nice to be able to stay on top of this. If we go back to the trending SoundCloud page, you'll see here Global Top 20. Again, great just to get a pulse on what is the biggest tracks on um, SoundCloud right now. You've got this Lose My Breath remix. Big techno version of Destiny's Child. You got Last Night. It kind of takes away that extra level you have to go through on SoundCloud to get some of these tunes. And not only that, you know, all of these different remixes from all these different producers, you're always having to search and then follow the producer and all that kind of thing. And I'm down for supporting all of these producers that's making edits. What I do is I love to go find out the producer is Kara OK, go and find them on SoundCloud and make sure that I'm not missing anything from that producer if I like that sound. So that is a huge advantage of the mashup for sure. So we're moving over to the playlist tab. And again, you start to really get a sense of how powerful and how in depth you can go with all of the different areas within here. This starts to really niche it down. This is again, super catered to the open format DJs of the world. So in here, again, a, a DJ mustard production. If you're a hip hop DJ, you know that how essential that can be. You've probably already got them all, right? But it's just great to have there. Um, Flow Rider Essentials, again, depending on what kind of DJ you are. Um, J. Cole anthems, Kendrick Lamar anthems, uh, hype intros, warm up crates. Again, that is a great category just to have and be like, I'm playing a warm up set this weekend. I'm usually playing house, but you know, what can I play in a warm up that isn't going to mess up? with the main track. So I can tell you right now, Aston Martin music is an unbelievable warm-up tune for any hip-hop DJs. Wait For You, again by Drake, that is great. So you can see that they're not just throwing in um, random tracks here and calling it a warm-up, they're taking the time to really 
go in depth and show you again we've got notorious big central c uh, and as you go down you've got more themes valentine's r&b love boy bands and girl bands if that's what you're into new year's eve uh here's another thing to bring up as well whenever there is whenever it's halloween or new year's eve or christmas they always make um, an effort to re-energize that sort of playlist and it will always you'll always get a notification about it somewhere that there's a new folder dedicated to you know new year's eve edits or something like that which is great one thing they've just started doing as well is adding dj playlists in here so if you like one of these big djs like rewire for example um dj policy who's in hip-hop or blighty uh, who's huge on, on mixed cloud and uh, you can go in and check out what they're playing which is amazing then finally within this playlist you've got spotify which is i know going to appeal to a lot of people so these are directly pulled from specific Spotify playlists with specific names. So Chilled Wedding uh, Mix, you've got 90s Wedding Mix, Wedding Dance Mix, Sing Along, Hot Hits UK, <laughs> uh, African Heat. Uh, there's a lot of uh, African and Afro beats on here as well, which is amazing. So you can really start to get a sense of how powerful this is if you're an open format DJ. Now, I want to come on to something that I found to be an absolute game changer and a lifesaver. So if you go into your account and go in settings, and you need a paid plan for this, if you go into your account, you'll see settings here. I've not seen this on another DJ pool, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but this zip folder structure here is a lifesaver. So if you're like me, and you're going around and you're downloading five drum and bass tunes, you're downloading five drill tunes, I'm downloading five Afrobeat tunes, I'm downloading 10 track ho tech house tunes, what tends to happen is you press download, they're in a folder, they download and it will say mash up June and there's, you know, a hundred tracks in there, right? All random, then you've got to go in your Serato, got to go in your record box and then place them individually. You can download by zip folder structure to make that a hell of a lot easier. So it will show you some examples. I'll show you what the um, zip folder structure is and I'll show you the examples. So you can download by classic, which just means all of your tracks in one place, one download folder. Then you can download by genre. So that means you press download, it will then download, it will say club, Afrobeats, you know, uh, hip hop, etc. You can then go deeper, you can go to subcategory folders. You can then do genre and then another layer that has subcategories within that genre and so on and so on, making it so easy for you to um, download quickly without the headache of having to just drag and drop everything if i click on this button it'll show you some examples so this is what i mean about having them all in one track right a bit of a nightmare it's fine if you're downloading three or four tracks super fine but you can go and download by genre so look you download and it will separate them by club commercial urban you can go even further and all of the categories that the mashup categorize you can download by acapella intro acapella outro acapellas christmas Instrumental, mashups, you can go one step deeper, go genre, then subcategory. So you go in club, and then you've got inside of club, you've got your mashups, your club mashups, your club transitions, your club essentials. You've got your urban, but then you've got your hype intros, you've got your mashup. So again, super specific, saving you a bunch of time. This is where it kind of goes a bit one step too far for me, which I, I wouldn't use this, but you might want to use it. You can do subcategory, then genre, mashups, club urban then you do uh, the mashup intros club commercial so it's the other way around doesn't make sense to me that one but you might it might make sense to you uh, and again just it goes even further you can do genre then subcategory as one label you can even do subcategory genre so instrumental urban mashups club totally up to you i've not seen this anywhere correct me if i'm wrong but this is one reason i've stuck with it for so long because it saves me so much headache Here's also just a really neat feature that I like about the mashup. So if you click on your notification section up here, you can see that you can check out their Mixcloud playlist and see what uh, Mixcloud are playing on their Mixcloud. And there's various updates. But what I do like is you can input your ideas. So you can suggest ideas and they listen and you can see if that idea has been put in progress. So you can really contribute to the building of this. So you can see where here somebody suggested a new disco, a new disco folder or section within the website. You can see here that has been completed and been added. So somebody made a suggestion here that says, it would be great if you had a button to search for new disco edits, as this is really big and could cut down on, a, on some searching. 
So that has been implemented. You can see here someone suggested something around track keys and that has been planned. And then you can see here the roadmap, if you click down here, the bottom right, you can see the roadmap to everything that's been added to the site as well, which I find really, really useful. The mashup is built by DJs for DJs, which means you can get involved within the mashup community and you can submit your own tracks. So if you make edits, if you are a producer, you can submit your track with ease to the mashup. There's a submit your track section within here. They also create uh, mixes on Mixcloud and you can submit your mix. You just have to make sure that the mix contains tracks from the mashup and then they'll consider it to put on their socials and they'll consider it to upload to Mixcloud. Going back to settings, one thing I do love as well is you can obviously have a light and dark theme, which is great. What I like is this start page. So if you find that you come on and you always want to look at the new tracks within the last 30 days, you can click on new tracks last 30 days, click save settings. Now, anytime I log into the mashup, my homepage it will come straight to the last tracks within the last 30 days. Again, just making that download process so much simpler. One thing I'm not overly impressed by and it's maybe because I've used it for so long, but I think that the sort of branding itself is a little outdated uh, and could use a little bit of work. I think this kind of like gra graffiti style is a little bit played out. And again, when I go on some of the playlists, uh, some of them look okay. Some of them like these look a little bit outdated. Um, but again, it's about function, maybe not style, but there are some aesthetic touches I think could really take this DJ pool to the next level. One thing I'd like to see a little bit more of inside the mashup is that individual brand new release track. So if we compare it to something like Beatport, where you've got all of the subgenres for, you know, bass, side trance, break beats, uh, a section like that would be great to not only support up and coming producers, but to also cater to a bit more of a wider range of DJs. Now let's get to the pricing, but hold on because I'm gonna show you how you can get this for $1 or $4.99. So you can see here, for example, I'm on the account section where I'm due to upgrade my subscription and it says $9.99 for the first month. However, if I go just up here, it says follow us on Instagram to receive 75% off your first month. Now, all you need to do is click this Instagram button, follow the mashup here, go back, and you can see it changes to $4.99. And if you're from the US, that will change down to $1. So you can see it's incredible value and I hope you can go and check it out. And like I say, you can have a free account and see if it's for you just by browsing or you can go ahead and get your first month for a very, very reasonable price. Thank you to The Mashup for sponsoring this video. And if you wanna find some unique ways or if you need to know where DJs get their music from, you can just watch this video right here.